So Jossie, we know now that you're international. Okay. <laughs> right. So <laughs> you got the mainland and then you got international, like you said. Um, what are some things that you kind of picked up throughout your lifetime of when it comes to like food and just what differences have you just seen and some things that yeah. you picked up that you kind of added to your own thing that you would do? Yeah. Well, I learned how to stew in Brazil. I mm. learned like how to really stew. And at the time I wasn't even really eating chicken, I don't think, but I learned from this woman I was, I was living with. And so she would do these amazing stews with like cilantro. So I fell in love with cilantro and just put in like a root vegetable here and a this and that. So stews are huge for me. Um, and then I feel like I had a whole culinary epiphany in Italy because I learned about seasonal eating and I learned about uh, eating with the land. There you go. So when then things I, are in season. We, we missing out, bro, in America. Yo, we I, like, we, yeah, we, we be in strawberries year round. Thank you. Know? you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was just going to, wait, you're psychic. You're psychic because that's yeah. the story I was going to tell. I walked in, you know, I, I'm working at a, in Milan for the first time. I mean, oh I was touring gosh. in Italy for years, but then I moved there for this show and I stayed and I, I think I was in Milan and I was with my host or some friend or, you know, two Italians and we were shopping and I was like, Ooh, strawberries. And they were like, <laughs> stupid American, you know, <laughs> they were like laughing at me and I was like, what? And I was getting frustrated cause I'm a Virgo. And I was like, I really have a feeling for something and I need it particularly right now. So they were like, no, they were like, it's out of season. And then I started to pay attention more. And I remember working in Sicily soon afterwards and just having my favorite thing is as a vegetarian, when I was traveling the world was grilled vegetables in Italy. They were like meat. They're like meat. Then I got to Sicily and I was like, I already love grilled vegetables, but this eggplant, you can't tell me this is just eggplant. Did you just like put some bacon juice on it? What did you do? And they're like, <laughs> no, it's just olive oil and salt in the grill. And I'm, so yep. then the old man comes out from the kitchen. And he starts to talk to me. And this was, this was the epiphany. He starts to talk to me about, you don't understand, it's the soil. Don't you know where you are? This is not Italia, this is Sicilia. We have a little Africa, we have a little this. It's the soil, it's so rich from Africa and the food that feels like the meat. And I was like, okay. All right. And I tell you the truth of it, the pride of the Sicilians with the vicinity to North Africa and the way that their food is reflected is huge. And you won't hear about that on this side and definitely not from their immigrant, generational immigrant children, but living there, gave me one, a better understanding of why it was so important to eat seasonally and why it was important to understand the land. And two, an awareness that there's an African thread in all the cuisines that we experience around the world. What? People, Say what? Yo, what? before boats, we moved around everywhere and we our traces are in everything so that that was one of the things that i i get excited about when i travel um and, and so yeah the roots are in africa for almost i would say almost everything food like almost everything culturally fashion whatever you want art it all like traces back to africa i don't know why people be forgetting that they be trying to erase it but you know 